Today in GIMP, we're going to be looking at the clone brush tool. Up here, we've got a church tower, and what I want to do is kind of copy it over to here. I'm using the clone brush tool, which is the one that looks like a stamp over here. To use the clone brush tool, first you have to set the source of the clone. So if I come up to here on the edge of the steeple, hold down the control key, you'll see my cursor changes to a little plus. I click and move away, and you can see that the clone is set. So that's the sample area to clone from, and then I can paint over here, and I can just paint in, and you'll see that the two circles are moving together. And I can just paint in as much of the, or as little of the image as I want, like so. And you can see I can make it merge in down here just by being very careful about what I want to go over and what I don't. And it starts to look like there are, in fact, two church towers. You can change the brush size on this to make it easier. Once I let go of the mouse, the clone point jumps back to its original place. So actually, I can now start cloning over here. Very simple, like that. Now, what we're going to have a look at today is how to use this to get rid of items in your image that you don't want. So I'm going to undo those two clones that I've just done, because I definitely don't want those, using Control and Z. And then I'm going to zoom back out. And this is a nice historic street in Edinburgh. What I want to do is I want to get rid of some of the more modern features in the street. So I'm going to zoom right into 200%. And I'm going to scroll down. And we've got a car here. So what I can do is hold down Control, select part of the street, and I can start to go over it like this. Now what you'll notice is if I go too far, I'll go over where the car was and it will start painting the car in. I don't want that, so I'm going to leave it there. And maybe I'm going to select this part, and I think, well, let's copy that over here. And bit by bit, I can get rid of the car as if it was never there. Just like that. Now, there are some features in this, such as the curb. If I click on the top of the curb, and let's do it up here, and then I can replace the curb just here by being really precise about where I want it. There we are, and there's the pavement in behind it. And again, I can put the curb in like that. There's the pavement in behind it. Same with the columns. If I choose a point that's really obvious, like the corner of the column there, I can start to get rid of the column and move this down. So bit by bit by bit, we can get rid of it. However, what we are doing here is we're destructively editing. We are changing our image. A much better way of using the clone brush, I'll have a look at with the other car, which is over here. So what I'm going to do is on my layers dialog here, I'm going to create a new layer and I'm going to call it patch because it's a patch over the car. And I'm going to paint onto the transparent layer and by on my clone brush selecting sample merged, it will copy what's on this layer and clone it onto the patch layer. Let me show you. So I'm going to come over here, take my clone and start to rub out the car like that. There we are. So it's going quite well at the moment. Oh, car's starting to come back in. So let's take this bit and clone it over. Good. Now, because I've done it on that layer, I can get rid of that layer, like that, and you can see where the patch is. I can also get rid of the background layer, and there is just the patch. So, it's a really, really good way of just editing down and getting rid of things, but then if you get it wrong, you can always get back to what you had before. And you can get rid of all sorts of things, like there's this modern street sign here. So, get the clone there. 
I want it on my patch layer, or maybe I want to have a new layer. Sign patch, like that. And I'm going to use this to get rid of the sign. Oh, went a bit wrong there. There we are, job done. And now you can see, you can put the sign patch in and out, and you can put the car patch in and out. You can also use this with the selection tools. So there's this rather nasty big sign up here. Now, if I want to get rid of this, there's two parts to it. There's the building behind, and then there's this building here. So I can use the lasso tool to select what I think is going to be part of the building behind. And then I'm going to use the rectangle tool with the control, sorry, the shift key to add. And I'm going to put that in there to add to the selection. And then I'm just going to use the lasso tool to take the edge off of it here. So uh, there we are. <laughs> so I've got my area now and so I can use the clone brush tool let's uh, clone it from here see I'm selecting a point that can be observed so actually I'm going to use this one and I'm going to put it over the top of this one and what you can see is it only changes what's inside the selection There we are. So now that we've done that, I could invert the selection like that. So I've got everything selected here and I can start to clone on this edge. So I'm going to copy that down and start to clone that back there. Copy that down, start to clone that back there. There we are. And you can see my image is starting to look really good now. I'll leave that bit of the sign in and just zoom out to uh, the size of 33% and deselect by clicking off the image like that. And you can see how nice that starts to look at its full resolution scale. And of course, I can still turn on my patch and off my patch. Have a go, the Edinburgh images on Moodle, but those are the skills you need to learn for today.